Hey guys, my name is Jamil and I'm a virtual digital programming intern at the Smithsonian Marine Station in Fort Pierce, Florida. Right now I'm visiting you guys from my kitchen in Cleveland, Ohio, and I wanted to do a fun and easy experiment with you that you can also do from home. Today we're going to do a lab experiment about the effects of acid on calcium carbonate. This has proven to be quite a big problem when it comes to things like ocean acidification and important aquatic animals having the proper protections, but enough talk. Let's get to the science. For this experiment, we'll need about five things. The first thing that we'll need is eye protection or some protective goggles. The second thing we'll need is a mason jar or a container. Then we'll need some white vinegar. We'll also need a raw egg with the shell completely encased and no cracks. And the last thing that we're gonna need is just a wee bit of patience. So let's get started. First things first. We want to make sure that we have our protective goggles on. You can see I already put mine on. The next thing is we want to take our white vinegar and we want to pour it into the mason jar just enough so that it doesn't spill over the top. Then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to take the egg that we talked about that has the shell completely intact and we're going to drop the egg into the vinegar and finally we're going to wait about 24 hours um, and let's see what happens let's talk about our experiment a little bit an eggshell is made up of calcium carbonate so when the egg is soaked in vinegar which is about four percent acetic acid a chemical reaction begins carbon dioxide is released as the vinegar begins to dissolve the shell if you look really closely at your egg, you can see these bubbles of carbon dioxide form. So we're going to take a break and then come back and see what happens. Hey guys, so it's the next day and let's see what happened to our egg. So we've come to the conclusion of our experiment um, and this is what we get. So you can see that our egg has completely lost its eggshell casing. Um, it's also <laughs> really mushy, which is kind of fun. It's kind of like a little bouncy ball. But really quickly, let's compare it to a regular egg that hasn't gone through this experiment. This guy up real quick, and you can kind of see the difference. So obviously this one still has the egg encased, and this one does not. This one is also a little bit more translucent um, and it's bigger uh, and the reason why it's a little bit bigger is because that vinegar was completely absorbed through the egg's membrane um, after the, the eggshell was gone. Really quickly, let's take a look at our vinegar. So it might be a little bit hard to see but you can hopefully catch some of the pieces of eggshell that remained behind. But this is what happens when you combine a weak acid like vinegar with calcium carbonate. So really quickly, let's just review. So this is a great way to see for yourself how acids can break down calcium carbonate. If a weak acid like vinegar can do this to an eggshell in a day, imagine what might be happening in our oceans and other aquatic ecosystems. That's why it's super important to be aware of things like ocean acidification and excessive carbon dioxide emissions. As ocean acidification worsens, things like shells and armor for our aquatic animals won't be properly produced, leaving these animals totally defenseless or completely unable to function, much like our eggshell. 